Hello, hello everyone. So this week, my student loans just kicked in, so I am starting to repay the loans that I used to study abroad last year. And in this video, I will be talking about the cost of studying abroad, how much money you should probably save up. We're talking about loans and what to expect. So all things financial when it comes to studying abroad. So first off, I was really shocked to see the small amount of students that are actually studying abroad. I thought it would be way more common. I don't know, I think it's such a literally, I know we say this a lot, but it's literally a life-changing experience. I would think more people would try harder to do it because it's honestly just, it's, it's magical. If there's one advice I would give to anybody, anybody in college, it is to study abroad and you would think that it's gonna cost you a fortune, right? But actually, it's sometimes cheaper to live abroad than it is to stay on your campus. I am a commuter, I've always been a commuter, so I saved up all my room and board because I lived with my parents. Um, so that was really the only thing that changed when studying abroad, everything else stayed the same. So let's start off with tuition. Because I get FAFSA, I get my tuition covered every single semester, which I'm super grateful for. So when I went to Japan, my tuition was still the same. It's an exchange program, so I'm still technically an FA, Florida Atlantic University student. And so I'm paying my tuition for Florida Atlantic University because I'm switching my spot with a Japanese student who is gonna exchange my spot and come over to FAU. So I pay my tuition, they pay their tuition, but we'll switch spots and then anything else we pay for, right? So my tuition stayed the same. It was covered by FAFSA, so I didn't have anything to worry about that. And I'm not sure if it is just a my school thing, but I'm pretty sure it's an every school thing. When it comes to an exchange program, you are paying your school your tuition. And so whatever you pay, it's gonna be the same. So that is that. Um, like I said, the only other expense I really had to pay for um, was my room and board. And my room and board was a little bit pricier because I did stay on campus and that was around $5,000. And that is why I took out a loan. I took out a loan um, just for my room and board. Let me see. Now, it has been a year, so I'm not exactly sure like to the penny how much I paid, but around $5,000 is what I paid for room and board. And then when I got to school, I didn't know I was gonna get this, but I got a $1,500 stipend for food, um, which is about a little less than like $15 a day to be eating every single day for my time there, which was super helpful. Kansai Gai Gai, shout out to you for that because that literally came in so clutch. Um, low key, I thought I was gonna starve, but when I got those $1,500 for food and other expenses that I used maybe for like thrift shopping, we're not talking about that, but it really did help. So um, that I can definitely say, I'm not sure that happened in every school, but it happened at Kansai Gai Gai, um, which is the university in Japan. So super grateful for that. Um, but besides that, also you have to pay for your flight. So a flight from Miami to Japan usually costs over a thousand dollars. Mine was pretty much a thousand. Um, and I just checked Google flights today, today's we're September 2021 and it was uh, like 900 and something. Um, so yeah, flight, you can expect that to be a little over a thousand depending on where you're going. Um, I'm just mentioning Japan because obviously that's where I went. Um, so tuition covered by FAFSA, room and board, took out a loan, $5,000. Um, I got a stipend for food and then my flight. And then the other thing is your everyday expenses, everyday costs. Um, if you want to go hang out, you want to do things, which you obviously want to do, you want to explore, you want to have fun. So this is your personal money. I noticed that I was spending around $200 every week, so a little over $800 
a month included eating out to eat with friends, karaoke nights, the transportation, because we're not because we weren't allowed to have a car, so we had to take the train everywhere. So gotta pay for that. And I spent about like five dollars a day on that if I took the train. Um, but tried my best to walk to all the places I needed to go. But obviously, if you want to get out the city, I had to pay for that as well. Um, that includes if you want to take another little vacation or explore a different city on spring break and get out the country and go somewhere nearby. Um, unfortunately, because of COVID, I was one of the students who was sent home um, early. So, um, but I did get to go to Tokyo. So all, so my personal money covered all of that, my Airbnb and all of that nature. Basically, everything that's not school related is something that you want to save up for so i would suggest saving around maybe 32 to 3500 dollars for your expensive if you want to be more on the safe side i would go with 3500 just so you are saved um and if not i would go a little higher um but yeah i guess that would be the biggest expense um that's like just not related to college at all um it's literally just kind of like surviving and exploring and having a good time if you are planning on studying abroad it is a perfect time perfect perfect time to start really working your ass off and collecting your coins and saving up money for your personal um personal pocket money uh to study abroad you can apply next year when things are safer with covid um, the vaccine is out, so I really think it's a good time to start preparing for 2022 um, because I think, you know, people, I know people are starting to study abroad again, but for sure in 2022, I think it'll be a great time to get back into that. And we only got four years of college, so make sure you make it count. When I spoke to my academic advisor, she said that my semester abroad would roughly cost about $13,000 and she was right. Um, but luckily because I have FAFSA and stuff like that, I got the stipend, things were a little cheaper for me. And also because I was sent home two months early, things were really cheap for me because everything was just cut in half and I did get refunded for a lot of the things that I did pay for. If you are planning on studying abroad, then definitely comment down below where you are going because i just i'm nosy and i just want to know i just do <laughs> so also like this video share it with someone who you think needs to study abroad as well and down below i'm going to link down my japan playlist also my what i spent in a week living in japan video make sure to give it a like and i will see you guys on the next video